What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Parostasis here, and I'm back in the world of Skyrim after my nice little break yesterday for the 4th of July. And uh, so this is the main hall. Some of you guys had asked me what the side missions look like for I vampires. So this is the guy you start off with. We're going to talk to him and see what he says. Lord fascination with weapons. A cadre of lesser beasts has become a nuisance, taking too bold an approach to their feeding. The herd is becoming distress. <laughs> <laughs> which makes it more difficult for us to slip in and out undetected. That's greatness. It is time to cull the weak. Until next So time. basically he's wanting to send us off to deal with a group of vampires that's uh making a nuisance of themselves. Starting some shit, starting some trouble, and uh, you know, if you eat people for your sustenance, kind of sucks when uh, the people you eat start knowing yes. about it and what get worried. So, we're gonna go deal with those guys before we move on with the storyline and see how that plays out. One of the other things you guys had asked about is where the cattle room was that uh, what's his name had talked about. That's the main hall back over there. You take the right, you come down here. This is, I don't know, some kind of killing room or whatnot. And down here is where the thralls are. And these are people that are basically like the, uh, what do you call it? The moth priest that I set up. So you can open the door, they're not gonna fight you. You can click on them, then you can either feed or you can talk to them. If you talk to them, they don't really say much. And then if you wanna feed, you just have your way. And then you shut the door, or you can leave it open. They're not really going anywhere. But uh, as you can see, there's quite a few of them here. I believe there's some sleeping. So apparently you can just, you know, have your fill and you never have to worry about um, letting your vampirism tick up if you don't want. But since there's changes, there's no real reason not to let it tick up because it just makes you more powerful. It does make you more uh, weak to fire though and uh, to sunlight. But I'm a dark elf and that shouldn't affect me. Anyways, we're gonna go take out that lesser den of vamps, see if we can't get a few skill ups and uh, see what happens from there. Let's see if we can sneak up on this little wolf. We are heading towards our destination, which is right over here, southwest of Windhelm. I'd stolen a horse uh, while trying to raise my sneaking and such, but uh, I just can't cast spells off of the back of a horse, which is kind of a bummer, or at least I haven't figured out how to yet. I'm sure if it's possible, somebody's like, um, Pyro, you're an idiot. Didn't you know that you just do blah, blah, blah? No, I, I did not know. Oh, Serena. Holy shit, there's a fucking pack of these things. Didn't expect there to be that many of them. Damn. Done and done. Anyways, um, so I'm going to try and wipe this den out without using my uber vampire powers. I am trying to get my uh, abilities up. I did get the backstab perk, which should allow me to do a little bit more damage. Assuming I can actually get... A backstab off I do only have 40 sneak uh, we may need to take a small side detour and do some of the thieves guild quest line or some of the uh, what do you call it dark brotherhood I would like to actually do both quest lines but I'm not sure what you guys want to see if you guys want I can just pound through the uh, content for on guard and knock it out in like a week or so and then we can go and do all the side quests that's up to you guys so let me know what you guys like to do because if this was my playthrough at this point i would take a break from dawn guard and i would go and do those quests but i understand there's a lot of you guys that are really more interested in dawn guard than you are in just a standard skyrim playthrough what the fuck is is that a snail what the oh it's a mud crab holy shit Little bastard. Damn. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and sneak into this place. It looks like it's got a very interesting entrance. What the hell? It's, oh, it's a secret entrance. Well, we're gonna fight these damn mud crabs off real quick. Get some nice one-handed skill ups. You want some too, crab? Like some crab legs, bitch. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head on in. All right, we have entered the cave. I don't see anybody at the entrance. It does look like my target's right over there. Hopefully nobody heard that. We're gonna inch up quietly. What the fuck is he? 
Is he sleeping? Do I get here at when they're all curled up? Oh, they're all asleep. Oh, this is gonna be fucking beautiful. Alright, we're gonna rob them first. No, no, go to sleep. No reason to talk. Okay, she's asleep over there. Is this dude alive or dead? He is definitely dead. There's somebody ate their fill here. I'm going to take this one out first, and then we'll deal with the other one. There we go. Got them both killed before, uh, before either of them could get out of bed. Eh, that's definitely the textbook definition of a butterface. Oh, how did she fall below the bed? It's like her corpse was like, oh god, Pyro's here, we're gonna try and hide. Y'all see that money bag over there? Fuck me, I want my money bag. This is quite possibly the smallest cave, though, I think I have ever been in. I mean, I've been in some small caves. Some of the stuff in Skyrim is set up, you know, to where it's just like one little, like, kind of like this kill task, where it's just real quick and fast. Go in, kill something, etc., etc., but... This one, I mean, like, I thought, what was it? That mine near uh, Riftwood, or Riverwood was small, but damn. Why you gotta be putting 33 gold way over here where it's hard to get? All right, we're gonna skip back to uh, the castle. I think we're gonna do a couple more of these. Oh, I didn't miss the chest. You all were, like, screaming at me. I heard ya. I heard ya. Pyro's ears occasionally pick up the lamentation of trolls. And, ooh, that's some nice stuff. What did you need? I want you to get out of my way, biatch. All right, we're going to head back and see what we get for this. All right, let's see what Mr. Garen has to say to us now that we've eradicated I'm that fledgling. I'm petty squabbles here. I have lived before. You have done well. Sanctified steel warrants? It may seem cruel that we hold our thin-blooded kin in low esteem. But our needs must come before theirs. Fair enough. Speak with Fiora Bloodmouth. She has something for you. All right. Where is Miss Fiora? Ancestors. It is kind of interesting because unlike the uh, unlike the Dawn Guard, you seem to talk to pretty much everybody in here and get a quest, which is kind of cool. New blood, eh? Let's get something very clear. I don't care about politics. You want to fight over the throne with the rest of them, go right ahead. She sounds like she's sick. I feed when I'm hungry, I sleep when I'm tired, and I kill whenever I'm in the mood. Those are the things that are important to me. Uh-huh. Oh, well, she could train me in two-handed weapons. That's kind of cool. Except I don't use them. has hold up with a group of necromancers. Likely wants to create a nest of brood Oh, leaves. joy. We don't need competition for blood. And we don't want the mortals getting up in arms making things difficult for us. Go destroy the feral beast before this becomes a problem. Yes, madam six-year-old. I shall head right now and take care of that. I want to see if this person down here can train me in anything. If you need anything, Ooh. a little extra Now this, never this one uh, right here is an ex-companion, um, which I kind of find interesting. Sanctified Steel, Undead Flea. Well, I don't really fight undead, so I don't really care about that. And I don't wear armor, so... Ooh. Oh, and it doesn't count as stealing to take all this shit. Awesome. When I first got here, they were, like, bitching at me. I wonder. We're going to head up here to the main hall and see if I'm able to, to take these blood potions or if that counts as theft, too. Let us see. Nope! So apparently knocking out that first quest has set it up to where people will can't trust the let me uh, I'm a loyal let me gank their shit. Oh, what's up, Garmer? Actually, I don't really like the name Garmer. Can I rename you? Can I rename you, like, Bobo? Damn it, I can't rename him. Yes. All right, so now we have a pet dog as well, who has a very small tail, which is kind of creepy. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead till we get to the next little nest of baddies that needs killing, and we'll pick up there. 
Uh, while we were heading to our next spot, I bumped into a nice little Markarth guard. And for those of you who are familiar with my uh, series at all, you know that I pretty much hate Markarth and every single person in it. And as a Markarth guard that pretty much marks you for death, in my opinion. Nothing to see here, buddy. I want to make sure he's nowhere near anybody so he can't call for help. I don't think I can one-shot him. I did pick up the backstab perk, but I do think it's going to take two hits. Oh, beautiful. Unfortunately, this one is going to go into... Um, I'm just going to keep dumping into magic. This one's going into illusion, um, just to let me cast these spells more. I did decide to go ahead and get illusion because I think it's going to be kind of fun to play around with it. So that should make some of my spells significantly cheaper. There we go. Oh, damn! Okay. Anybody witness? We are good. Let's check our stats. Ah, uh, crime. Total lifetime bounty, zero. Largest bounty, zero. So we managed to kill him before he could talk to anybody, which is awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and head on to our objective. Let me go ahead and show you guys where we're headed real quick. We are headed up to this dwarven little area. It's going to take me a little bit to get up there, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Well, on our nice little way over, we did bump into a few nasties. I'm not sure... Yeah, these are bandits. I want to kill this guy. Just give night, night. I'll try and stay hidden till my stealth uh, refreshes. Damn it. Oh, he just ran off, didn't he? Fucking dog. Oh, well. We can get a few skill points on him if we can get him. Who is... Oh, Garmer's my dog. I was like, who the fuck is Garmer? It's like, oh, it's my puppy. That's right. Alright, so I've killed quite a few people on my way out here. Got a little overweight. So we're going to go ahead and deal with this overweight issue. And then we will continue on in our journey. Well, now we have a very angry bear up here. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on the bear and get a backstab. Hopefully, uh, stupid dog won't give me away. Come on, bear. Turn around. I do not want to fight Yogi the Bear straight up. Yeah, we are completely hidden. He shouldn't be able to see us. Okay, now it looks like he's sleeping. Fuck. Turn around, Yogi. Damn it. Fuck it. Oh well. Now I'm gonna try and get as many skill points as we can. Ah, don't eat me! Stupid bear! Fuck me. That hurt. Okay, we have finally arrived at our destination down here at uh, Mergenfergen Schnurgenfergen uh, Temple, which is southeast of Markarth. And I'm going to do my best to not use my uber hacks this time with uh, the vampire mod, at least until later on in the dungeon. I'm trying to level up all of my other abilities, but at the same time, if they bring the raid game, I'm going to bring mine. So we see how go. I'm noticing my Xbox loading times are starting to get a little bit longer, though. Thinking about getting a modded Xbox and putting an SSD into it, but uh, it may be a little bit of crazy. To what the fuck? Something just told me to turn back, and I—it seemed like it was a voice from the. Whoa! Don't push me off, you whore! Oh, Sarani, you fucking—you get pushed off. You get pushed off. Oh, I hate companions. People always ask, why don't you run with companions? Case and fucking point. Please, turn back before it's too late. Ghostly voice. Well, isn't this interesting? I think it's time for me to save since some bad shit's about to go down. Nothing like a nice warm fuzzy feeling.
But I don't listen to ghosts, so... Well, it looks like we're definitely going to be bumping in... Whoa! Holy shit! Did you see that big-ass chunk of rocks that came rolling down? Would not have wanted to be underneath that. We're going to go ahead and put Muffle back on on our left hand. Since we are doing the stealth route and the stealth assassin route, there's no reason not to just keep using Muffle. Um... Interesting. I guess... Whoa! Whoa! What are you still doing? Who the fuck are you? Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all... There's the treasure? I mean, that's a bonus. The name's Katria. I am... was an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on the trail of something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. That sucks to be you. I'm better than you are. Oh, you read the book, didn't oh. you? Oh. The Ethereum Wars. That was my theory, you know. My research, my life. Well, I appreciate work. you All doing of it that. Lost, stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge. Until I can prove that it was my discovery. Mine, not his. Let me ask. You want me to slit his throat, too? But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. I'm a motherfucking vampire lord, bitch. Sure. That's what they all say. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? Nope. I know. I know. I was just like you once. No, no. I have tentacles. You don't have tentacles. If you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want to help? Sure! I've already got two companions. Let's throw on a few more. Why not? All right. Later. Where's Yoda? We can bring him in. Fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. Princess Leia. Mario. Luigi. Throw Yoshi in here just for shits and giggles. Uh Reach the summit of Arkenarg Fergerberger. Burger. That's going to be pleasant. Alright, so we want to go... Fuck, up there. And apparently I need to go down before I can go up. Which, uh, doesn't... Oh. Ha! Wow! Holy shit, that had to be a fall. Okay, you want some dignity? Here. There you go. There's your dignity. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Push your ass into the ocean. Alright, I'm gonna head down here. I don't think there's anything over here. Uh, no. Nothing. Get out of my way, dog. Alright. No, no, no. Fuck. Move. I need you yes. to move. Please. What did you need? Oh, God. Hey, watch it. Thank you. Fucking ghosts. Ooh, what is that? I like that magic items glow now. That is, that is really fucking cool. What is that? Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm looting it because I'm a greedy bastard. All right, the Fuck, dog. Okay, shit. Sorry, you guys can't tell, but my companions are cock blocking me. Oh, Lord. Well, sneaking up on robots doesn't really work out all that well. So we're just going to level our Stabby McStabbing on them. Maybe get a couple points of resto while we're at it. Even though we really don't need points in resto. And a buffalo. There we go. Awesome. Um, that looks like our way up. I'm just going to make sure everything over here is... Is that water? Yeah. 
Dude, if that was oil, that would be so awesome. Massive oil fire here. Man, this place sucks. Making me climb shit with a controller. It's just fucking evil, man. I'm assuming I'm supposed to just drop down here. So we are going to drop down. I'm gonna go ahead and resave. Because with this many jump puzzles and with all of my companions, it's only a matter of time until one of these fuckers decides to throw me into the water or off a cliff or God knows what else. I need to read her journal real quick. Books. Arvel. No. Cat fuck. Damn it. Katarina's journal. Uh, how big is it? Holy jeez. Fuck me. That is... Okay, there's the... Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to do research on this place. Damn. Alright, well, we're gonna keep going. Once I get uh, to that... Seriously. There we go. Interesting. Huh. Oh, we've got to get this door open. This one's opening and closing that door. I'm assuming we need to somehow stop it from doing what it's doing. Maybe Majory? Yep, Majory. Awesome! Whoa! Falmer up ahead, okay. Muffle. Now one of the cool things about being a vamp is I have multiple different uh, invisibilities now. I've got the vampire invisibility that lets let you be invisible for like 60 seconds. I've got the, uh, what do you call it? The invisibility stone invisibility. I forget what it's actually called. Hello, Falma. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I'm getting some distance from these guys. Come on, guys. Help me out. Oh, jeez. Fuck. That's the only problems when you're not using the badass vampire mode. I suck! Oh! Oh, who sucks now? I don't know why I slit your leg open. That was just kind of mean of me. A little cruel, but you know. Schmigo was asking for it. Talking some shit. Alright, let's switch over to healing. That's one thing I really do miss about PC. With PC, I could have all of this uh, hotkeyed. And that would be nice. Actually, you know what? There we go. Alright. New bound sword up. Anything over here I need to worry about? Negative. I can go ahead and resave since I did almost die there. Schmeagol was getting a little bit uh, ornery. Oh, I'm not seeing any more Falmers. Damn. Oh, hello, Falmer. Don't see anything. Wow! I'm still trying to figure out how that stealth attack didn't work. I guess it's because all these companions I've got and they're uh, revealing me over and over again. Which sucks, but oh well, such is life. There's a lot of dead Falmer here though that I didn't kill, which kind of creeps me out. Those of you wondering why I did that, 
Ah, the bound weapon only lasts so long, and I'm trying to keep uh, the refresh from happening at a very bad moment. Kind of like what happened earlier. Alright, maggots. Y'all coming? Where did Serana go? Did she go back home? Oh, hello, farmer. Okay, there was my 6x. At that time. Ah, fuck it. Okay, Schmeagle's over there. Damn it, that Schmeagle's making some good time. I didn't realize Schmeagle's were marathon runners, but apparently that one is. Okay, he's not seeing anything yet. Careful, careful. Schmeagle, we don't want Schmeagle seeing me at least. He can see y'all. Damn it! Stupid fucking companions. My turn. Oh god. Oh, fucking balls! And heal! I'll let the ghost tank for a minute. Not for long. Ah! Shit! Man, it takes so long to get the weapons back out. There we go. Alright, he's down. Oh, I think the dog died. Okay, we have a button, it looked like, over here? Eh, maybe not. Oh, hi, dog. I don't suppose you want to be nice and open the fucking door for me, do you? Come on, doggy. You can do it. Open the door. Alright, I'm not seeing any way to open this door, at least over here. Um... That's a drop. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just going to carry on then. Sorry, Dogi. Sword left. And muffle. There we go. Leave this way is up. Whoa! Fuck! The other one may have had some nice loot in it, but I'm not really too concerned with that. At the moment, I'm just trying to get my way up so I can figure out what's going on. That hole up there? What is that sound? Oh, shit, a chorus! Choruses are fucking bad. Yeah, this, this whole stealth thing isn't working with this dog. I'm ditching this dog. And I'm going to see if it'll work. Come here, dog. Time for you to head home. What the fuck? Okay, let me try this again. Time for you to head home. It is not working. I literally can't tell the damn dog to go home. Why won't you go home? Or just wait here? Oh, I'm gonna kill it. Sorry, Garmer. There we go. I tried to tell him to go home, but no! Oh, hello. What am I watching out for? Oh! That's Schmeagle. Who hopefully doesn't see you. There we go. Much better. Now that the dog's not giving me away constantly. Fucking A. Alright. We're going to level up. We're going to see what we've got once it finishes auto-saving. And it sucks that I had to kill that dog. I didn't want to, but, you know. 
I've got to look after me, alright? And now Doggy was not looking after me. Apparently they can't stealth, which I guess is fine if you're not a stealth class, but if you're a stealth class, it kind of sucks balls. Alright, sneak. So I've got the backstab perk. I don't care about deadly aim, but I do want this one right here. So to get to that, I'm going to have to get deadly aim. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up now. And then we'll get the 15x, which will pretty much allow me to one-shot almost anything in the game. Uh, if I can, after that, if I can pick up uh, the Thieves Guild. Actually, I don't think it's Thieves Guild. It's uh, Dark Brotherhood. They have a pair of gloves you can get that double backstab damage. So you get 15x plus that is 30x damage. And you can pretty much attack with a toothbrush at that point and get one shots on just about anything in the game. Oh, we are getting... Oh, a chorus. I don't know if I can... Okay, he's turning away. Fucking choruses are bad, and that's... Is he behind me? Fuck. Oh, at least she's holding aggro. I mean, that works for me. Not quite sure why it's ignoring me, but hey. I'm perfectly fine with that. You can attack the shit out of the ghost bitch. I don't care. At least I was able to get another sneak attack off, though, so that's really helping my sneak skill. I'm actually surprised, though, that Karas didn't do more damage to me. I mean, I'm basically fucking naked. There we go. Save over. All right. Well, I'm assuming we want to go this way. Ah, uh, that's a negative. Maybe it's like Minecraft and we can use the, uh... Oh, wow, a little door off to the left. Holy shit. Oh! Schmeagle had a bad day. Ah! Holy fuck, dude. Here I am giggling like a schoolgirl. I almost walk off the fucking cliff. Um. Yeah. This is not where we're supposed to be. So we're going to head on back down. I'm assuming I took the wrong path. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. Nope. Good news is, though, since we've already explored this area, we don't have to go slow. So we're going to move back down. And I don't think there was really anything back else back here. Uh, okay, I went that way. We're going to check out this way. Time to stealth. Oh, hello, choruses. All right, I'm going to back up. going to blow this. We're going to blow this. Okay, now we're armored and silent. Not so worried about the Schmeagol. We're killing the chorus first. Actually, we're gonna kill whatever I can hit first. Fucking mob. Well, I'm glad she's a ghost, because these things are nasty and she's about to die. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Power attack. Okay, she's fucking dead. Beautiful. Thanks for killing my ghost, bitch. The good news is... Oh, she's back. Awesome. I was about to say, well, now that she's dead, she can't attract any more attention, but... So much for that. Damn, this place is cool looking. Holy shit. Alright. Well, apparently there is a forge around here somewhere, which is what she's looking for. I think I may have accidentally selected the wrong quest in my quest journal. Because this was supposed to be a pretty quick and easy go rape something and then come back to me. Save. Let me check. Whoops. Discover the location of the Elder Scroll. Reach the summit of out. Yeah. Oops. Oh well. No worries, I needed to do this quest anyway. As far as I know, this is one of the newer quests, so. Should be cool. Where'd you go, woman? 
Oh, there she is. Sheathing weapon. And weapon back out. Yeah, I've got to get that. Uh, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Armor on. Oh, damn. That place looks badass. Any more schmiegels about? I don't see any. I'm pretty sure we're jumping down there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any baddies at all. Which kind of has me a little concerned. Oh, fuck. Well, this is either going to be really good or really bad. Hold up. We need to talk. I don't like the sound of that. You know what this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple and very, very deadly. I don't like that. See the resonators up there. Strike them in the right order, and the door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried. Oh, fuck me. Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Well, let's go read the corpses and see what they all have to say. Now oh, he had gold. Is that a note? Nope. Oh. Damn, dude. You got fucked up. Okay, we'll loot him and then I'll read that scrap of paper. Shit. Uh, yeah, nothing good happened to him. It's funny, though, because she wants me to look at these guys to see if any of them have, you know, a clue. But if any of them had a clue, they wouldn't be dead, right? Alright, so we have... Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five resonators. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's, uh... Let's read the scrap of paper I've got. Oh, God. So, bottom right is number two. Top left is number three. Okay. Let's read hers. And here we go. So, that's one, two... I'm going to have to get a fucking piece of paper. Alright, give me just a sec, guys. Alright, after playing with it on a piece of paper for a couple minutes and checking out the two different things, um, this one right here is one, this one right over here is two, and that one up there is three. This one and this one are unlabeled. Excuse me. So, as far as I can tell, there's no pattern. At first I thought maybe they added up to eight, but no. Um... I'm not really sure what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and leave five in the middle. And we're going to see if that... Whoops. We're going to see if that works for us. Mage Light. Alright, come on. Hopefully Mage Light will work. I'm not sure. Damn, that's a lot further away than it looks. Okay, that's one. And these are the knowns, so these should work 100%. If these don't work, then the paper is just completely off. That's two. Okay. Three. Okay. So this is the guess part. I'm sure there's a pattern here. Maybe it's musical. Maybe it's mathematical. I don't know. Pyro's not smart enough to figure it out. So we're going to try and just do this, and hopefully it's lucky. If not, well, you'll get to see what a trap does. Alright. Hopefully that hits. And... Uh, I missed. Nope, I hit it. Alright, good, good, good. Well, I didn't blow up, so I'm assuming everything's okay. Oh, seriously? 
Oh, I didn't know you could... I felt like I get guided there for a second. Right. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah, if I'd fucked that up, this monster would have come out and raped me. That, uh, that's, that's not good, my friend. Not good at all. Alright. Well, now that we got this place opened, I'm gonna go ahead and resave. And we're gonna move in and see what we've got in here. Do apologize, it looks like this video is gonna go on a little bit longer than I had expected. Some of you like long videos, some of y'all don't. Alright. Doesn't look like... Yeah, no, in my luck, I'm going to get in here, and that's when the bad shit's going to happen. All right, I'm going to loot all the stuff before I open that thing. That way, I can run if I need to. Um, Dwarven ingots. I have no idea what these dynamos are used for, but... I can probably figure that out later. All right, well, this is... The shard... I'm gonna see if I can open the chest first before I mess with the shard. Because I'm afraid about messing with that shard. Okay. Yes. What did you need? Whoa! The fuck did you come from? You know, she wasn't here the entire dungeon and all of a sudden yes. boom, she just mean? appears out of nowhere. Alright. So it is yeah. real. Let me see it. You're a ghost. What are you gonna do? Just it's gonna fall through you? On the edge here. This has been cut, precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would it would snap right in. And do what? I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's it's part of a key. A key made of pure Ethereum. The key to the forge. Okay. We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be hmm, <laughs> three more. One for each of the four cities that were. Oh in God! I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. Okay. We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that too. Beautiful. Is this a pretty There's epic so quest? To I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. You're a ghost. Sure what are you gonna? For the first time in a long while, I think I, we, may actually be able to do this. And, and I owe it all to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem, Casper. Alright. So, here, let me pull that up and I can show you guys. Books and her journal. Okay, so we are down by Markarth. There we go. We are down by Markarth, which is going to be number four, I think, on here. So, or no, it's number one. So from here, I need to go to the northwest, and there's going to be another dwarven ruin there. That's two. Three is going to be over, it looks like, near Sol. No, that's uh, not Winterhold. It's, uh, oh, that other town, north of Riften. Three and four are right there north of Riften, and then five is west of Riften. So I think we're going to go ahead and continue on this in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Also, since we're kind of diverging from the uh, the main storyline a little bit, let me know if you guys want me to knock out the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood as well. That will drastically increase my character because, um, yeah, and I've, I've pretty much decided I'm not going to be putting any more into alteration because if I'm going to be wearing Thieves Guild armor, that just kind of defeats a purpose. Unless, of course, I DE it all and make clothes and uh, put the enchantments on there so anyways let me know what you guys want to do in the comments below do you want me to get back on and finish the dawn gourd storyline do you want me to finish this quest or do you want me to do like i normally would and build my tune up let me know in the comment section below as always if you like this video please click that like button make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any of my other videos tips tricks and guides and i'll catch you guys in the next clip